Okay, hello. So today we're going to talk about fat loss and food and where you really need to, what is most important to focus on if fat loss is the result that you're after. So first up, we, and I'm sure you heard it a thousand times, calories in, calories out, blah, blah, blah. But the reason why you hear this so much is because this is the most important thing. This is, there's no which way around about it. It's literally calories in, calories out. So to break this down for you, if you want to achieve fat loss, you have to be in a caloric deficit. If you want to gain weight, you have to be in a caloric surplus. And this is probably people that are carrying extra weight have been in a caloric surplus for a long period of time. And basically they've stored the excess energy in food that they've eaten as body fat, as subcutaneous fat, and therefore are overweight. So to achieve a caloric deficit, we have to consume less food than what our body uses through, through our total daily energy expenditure. To achieve this, or to figure this out, we need to look at how much is our total daily energy expenditure. And let's say that is 2,000 calories per day. I would recommend initially to drop that by 10%. So 10% below 2,000 calories per day would be 1,800 calories per day. If you consume 1,800 calories per day and your total daily energy expenditure is 2,000, you'll be in a caloric deficit. If you do this consistently, so this is Monday to Sunday for a long period of time, so month, week to week, month to month, then you will achieve fat loss. If you do five days on where you're, you, know, you are under your calorie target and then you blow out on the weekend, sorry, you blow out on the weekend and suddenly it's up to 2,500 or 3,000 calories per day, then all of a sudden we've undone all the good work we've done at the start of the week and we're probably not in a caloric deficit anymore, or we're definitely not. We're not in a caloric deficit anymore and we will not lose body fat. So this has to be done very consistently. Um, I think where a lot of people go wrong with this is they probably drop their calories way too low and then they can't maintain it and then they get really hungry and get heaps of cravings and they end up blowing it out on the weekend or something like this. So calories in, calories out, number one, you don't have that under, down pat, then don't worry about anything else because that's the most important thing. So next, next most important thing is macronutrients. So with macronutrients, uh, macronutrients are made up of protein, carbohydrates, fats, and then some people speak of alcohol as being the deadly fourth macronutrient um, because it doesn't add any value to our lives apart from it gives us more calories and makes it really hard to lose fat and makes it really easy to gain weight and fat. So protein and carbohydrates have four calories per gram. Fats has nine calories per gram and alcohol has seven calories per gram. So carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, I believe we need all of these in our diet, um, but the most important one is gonna be protein. So protein is basically, it's, protein is gonna help us maintain muscle mass while we're losing fat. We need, we wanna, the main focus of macronutrients needs to be I've got enough protein in each meal, and over the day I'm consuming enough protein in total consistently again. So with carbohydrates and fats, that's gonna be an individual thing. Some people are gonna feel a lot better on, um, on you know, more fats in their diet and less carbohydrates. Some people are gonna feel a lot better on more carbohydrates and less fats in their diet. It's, you know, you've gotta figure out what works for you there based on the foods that you, you like, the foods that you can eat consistently over a long period of time. So alcohol, the, the problem with alcohol, if we compare to carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, is it really has no nutritional benefit to it. Um, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats are usually coming from sources where we're also gonna get a lot of vitamins, minerals, enzymes, um, fiber, etc. from. Whereas when we look at alcohol, it's literally just calories. Um, and quite often is associated with a lot of sugar and carbohydrates in beers, wines, cocktails, all this sort of thing. So it's gonna be a really, really easy way to completely blow out our total calories and, and not lose fat, probably gain fat. Um, alcohol also has a lot of other effects. Obviously it's good fun, that's part of our social culture and I wouldn't, you know, I mean I drink it and I, I not very often, but I think it's something we don't wanna completely eliminate, but we just need to, if we wanna lose fat, we really need to keep in mind that this is gonna make it a lot harder for us to do so. so 
Yeah. So the next thing we want to look at is micronutrients. Um, but the thing is, again, there's no point even looking at micronutrients. If fat loss is our focus, there's no point even worrying about this if this, or sorry, if calories and macros are out of control. So what I see a lot of people doing is, is saying, oh, but I'm eating really healthy. I've been eating really healthy. Why am I losing weight? It's because you could, you could eat the healthiest food in the world. You could have the best nutritionally sound diet you could even think of. And if you're eating too much of it, or you're not in a caloric deficit, you're not going to lose weight. So one mistake a lot of people make is go, oh, I'm eating healthy. Like it, you know, I definitely am a huge advocate from this and there are a lot of other benefits to eating healthy. So eating healthy naturally, there should be a little bit less calories in our food, but we can't completely let that go and think, oh, I'm eating healthy, I'm gonna lose weight. It's still gonna come down to calories in, calories out. So this needs to be the main focus. Um, if, we, if we're hitting our calories, we're hitting our macros and we're doing it with a diet that's predominantly um, whole natural food based. So, you know, poultry, fish, um, red meat, lots of green and different colored vegetables and fruits and nuts and seeds and grains, then it's gonna be pretty hard not to hit our micronutrients in terms of vitamins, minerals, fiber, etc. cetera. Um, if you're eating just pizza and wine and, and eating shit food and you're still hitting your calories and your macronutrients you're going to lose fat but you're probably going to feel pretty shit and you're not going to be getting your micronutrients you're not going to be getting much you know vitamins and minerals etc another thing to think about here is if you are so i mean actually sorry this is just this is probably a very rare case if you're eating you're hitting your calories, you're hitting your macros, and you're doing it with a very nutritionally sound diet that should be high in vitamins, minerals, etc. And for some reason, you're still deficient in things. And may I add, on top of that, and you're under control with your stress, you're sleeping well, you're exercising, and you're generally looking after after yourself, and you're still deficient in some kind of vitamin or mineral or, or some kind of nutrient then it might be worth looking at seeing a health professional to figure out why that might be. So maybe like a dietitian or a nutritionist or someone who may be able to help you delve a little bit deeper into that and figure out why and get on top of that. But so next one would be meal timing. Um, but again, if your calories are out, your macros are out, and you know, you're worried about eating carbohydrates after six o'clock, or you're worried about should I have three or four meals a day, don't even worry about it. You could eat one meal a day, and if your calories and macros are in check, you're going to lose fat. You're going to lose weight. So I suppose the biggest thing with meal timing and fat loss is figuring out a, 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 a plan that works for you. So it's going to be an individual thing. I'd recommend three to four meals a day. But you've got to think about things like what's your work schedule like, what's your lifestyle like. Maybe three meals works really well for you and you've got time each day to be able to do that and stay consistent with that maybe five meals is a better option for you. So that's gonna be an individual thing and, and we can talk about, or you know, and, and you can figure that out um, based on what works, what doesn't. But the most important thing is figuring out something that's gonna work long, time, long term, sorry, and that you can sustain. So something that, whatever, whatever it is in terms of frequency that it works for you, as long as your calories and macros are in check and you know, you're eating good quality food, you, you're gonna be fine, whatever works. Um, with meal timing, if we want to look at energy levels and performance and things like that, there's going to be different ways to be able to optimize that or optimize your training performance and things like that. Um, but in terms of fat loss, yeah, just whatever works and you can still hit your macros and your calories. Supplements um, is up the top in a small little box because it's not really very important at all in terms of fat loss. Um, I think I, I see, well, I have seen a lot of people straight away being like, what kind of protein should I have? or should I get creatine or should I get a fat burner or, or a, um, a, a pre-workout drink or something like this? And it's like, um, you just don't need any of it. You know, you should be able to get, I mean, none of that stuff is gonna help you achieve less calories or improve your macros. Actually, protein is one supplement that I would potentially recommend if you can't get enough protein through natural foods, through you know, good quality meats, um, beans, different sources of good quality protein. Um, protein supplement might be worth looking into. 
um, where you can have a protein shake or something like this to be able to hit your protein target. But other than that, I think in terms of fat loss, there's no real, no real importance of supplements. So a quick summary, I'm just gonna say, so obviously calories is number one. I think I've said that 10 times now. If your calories aren't in check, then don't worry about the rest because you're not gonna lose fat. You ought to be in a calorie deficit. Macronutrients is the next most important. The main thing is have protein in every meal, basically. Have protein in every meal and make sure you get enough protein out throughout the day. Um, and remember that alcohol is gonna add to excess calories big time. And it's gonna be probably not such a good idea to have a lot of if you're looking to lose fat. Micronutrients should pretty much get those through eating good quality food. So make sure you're eating a good quality diet. You're eating lots of natural whole foods, fruits, vegetables, lean meats, etc. Meal timing, figure out what works for you and stick to it. Figure out something that you can sustain for a long period of time. And supplements, maybe look into some protein, but don't worry too much about it. It's, you know, protein will be the only one I really recommend. All right, thank you very much. Hopefully you've got a good understanding of what you need to focus on to lose fat and we'll leave it at that. Bye.